Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another LEGO vlog. It's Jordan here. We're starting at Walmart. Yeah, I was in the area. I figured why not check out the LEGO aisle. After that, tomorrow morning, we're going to go to the LEGO store. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Let's check out this LEGO aisle. Alright, so over here we've got some speed champions. Too Fast, Too Furious, Dom's Dodge Charger. The Conan Sag and also some monster trucks. Some of the Technic cars. That actually look good beside the Lamborghini CN. Just they saw it in the display case last time we were at the Lego store. They were parked side by side and said I should do that. And I thought it was actually a pretty good idea. Got the Micro Fighter, the N1 Starfighter beside a couple mechs. Oh, that's cool. We got the uh, Snow Trooper Battle Pack. I actually haven't seen these at the Lego store in a while I've just seen like the newer battle packs you know what I'm gonna grab a couple of those let's support Walmart I think they need my business no I'm, I'm just kidding looks like we've got our first rollback deal down here one that I'm gonna pass on no matter what the price is 60 bucks normally 75 keep in mind it is Canadian prices I am Canadian An ultimate adventure castle on from 130 down to a hundred I'm going to leave that one behind as well. And it looks like they've got all the Mario starter packs on for a discount right now. On for 60 bucks. You can get the Mario one and also the Peach one. So they've got some deals there. And also the Friends Treehouse is on sale as well. 80 bucks, normally 100 bucks to 20% off. I've been striking out at Walmart lately. But I'm glad to get these. I don't know when they're going to retire. Because we've got like... The 501st Battle Pack and the 332nd Battle Pack, right? We've got a whole bunch of stuff. Plus, there's these Dark Trooper Switchers sort of Battle Pack-ish. I feel like if there is one that's going to retire, I feel like that would be it. And we've got uh, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter there. A couple more uh, Speed Champions and also the Aston Martin and the Toyota. I'm not sure what uh, Speed Champions are going to retire next. I think that would be a good one and I know I think this is actually on the list of like end of, of end of life so it's like slated to potentially leave the Lego store or leave the options to buy I guess there you go you got Sonic the Hedgehog and then uh, some Harry Potter stuff up here MS Art School is, looks like it's on sale as well regular $90 on for 70 then we've got some of the figures over here we've got Miles Morales Venom, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, Batman up top beside Captain America, and also Wolverine. Have you got any of those? What do you think of them? I've got Ant-Man and also Batman, I think. Then, of course, I've got a bunch of the Star Wars ones. Oh, yeah, and I also have this Iron Man, which actually has a light brick in it. Not too bad at all. And that's beside the Brachiosaurus set, which I still want to get because it has... That Jeep, it's just ridiculously expensive, $100. What am I gonna do with that dino? That's next to the Farmer's Market van, which is an expensive set. Whoa, save $20.86, it's not bad. $39 for that one? I already have one though. That's not bad though, save $20. $20. So normally 60, so that's a 33% discount if my math checks out there. Hmm. I don't think I need another one though, honestly. Like, why do I need two of those? Oh, it looks like Rocket Raccoon is on sale as well. Fourteen eighty-six was twenty, so that's twenty-five percent off. I don't think I need Rocket Raccoon Mech though. So there we go, everybody. That's the Lego aisle at Walmart. I'm gonna get my battle packs. Oh, real quickly, yeah. I still don't think that's a very good deal. I mean, it's not bad, I guess, but not a terrific deal. These ones are on sale too, though. I just spotted it. These ones, you save $20.86 and they're 29 bucks. So those things are normally $50. Are you kidding me? That's normally $50? That is simply outrageous. $2.47? Are you kidding me? I've got to get those. That is outrageous! Okay, so over there is one of the largest malls in the world. That's where Canada's largest Lego store is, right? And around this entire mall, everything is under construction because they are finally deciding to put the train in going to 
one of the largest malls in the world. It's like, why are you putting in a train now? Like, get your act together, Edmonton. Like, what the heck? You're like, it's crazy. It's going to take them like 10 years to build. It's ridiculous. So Benjamin, so Benjamin doesn't even recognize his father. Look at that fresh cut. Feeling pretty good, eh, Ben? You just hanging around? Yeah, feels good to get a haircut. It's been a while. Tico, what's up, buddy? Millie, what's up? What's up, Stell? What's up, girl? What's up, buddy? Jeez, we got all the life forms around, don't we? Hey, Luna, what's up? What's up, Loon? Here. So the Lego room is just a wee bit of a mess right now. We should place this. I'm gonna put that in the fire brigade garage. Why not, right? But yeah, I was working on roads the last two days and I left this tree laying on my train tracks and then I left all of this stuff on my desk. It actually wouldn't be that hard to put away and I will put it away before we go to the Lego store tomorrow. Why am I going to the Lego store tomorrow? That's because I've got to go to Ikea I've had to, like, return this stuff. Ugh, that's a far reach. I've had to return this stuff to Ikea, like, for, like, the last two months, and I just haven't been able to go to Ikea. So tomorrow I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to go to the Southside Lego store because it's relatively close to Ikea. But look at that. Aren't the roads looking pretty good down here? Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Woo! I can't wait for my parts to arrive from Denmark so I can add... Uh, crosswalks and I can also offset these because I can't offset these without having these without the zebra crossings because then I can just put this one there and put uh, a regular one there without the zebra print and then another regular one there and once I get the 25 of those that arrived I'll be able to fix that maybe I didn't order enough of them is 25 enough thinking about that further I, maybe I didn't order enough of them <laughs> maybe I'll Finish that project and I'll immediately order more. Yeah, it's usually the way it is, but at least it came with a promo. It was during the Houses of the World promo, so I just hit that threshold and moved on with my day. Jeez, it's looking good down here. You know what the wife and I are doing? We're watching Rebels. Uh, just finished season one. Oh, the ending was just amazing with Darth Vader. Oh, man. And then also the first two episodes of season two. Why hadn't I watched Rebels before... Now, I have no idea. I have no idea, folks. So I was cleaning out my garage the other day because I got new shelving, and I found this box. Check it out. Some coins. 1964 Canadian silver dollar. One ounce silver holiday coin. Merry Christmas. Couple of those. Got some Canadian silver maple leaves. Look at this one. Isn't that cool? An old crown. There's a Morgan silver dollar for all the Americans there. Don't worry, it's not Carson City. <laughs> then we got an old Canadian dime. Oh no, that's a five cent silver. Pretty cool, eh? And then uh, 1967. That was the uh, 100th anniversary of Canada. 1867 to 1967. There's the specialized coinage. With all the different animals on it. Pretty neat, hey? Then look, we've got some sequential $1 bills. Pretty cool, hey? And then uh, the evolution of the $10 bill. There's some sequence ones right there. And some older ones. And then this bad boy. This is the Centennial $1 bill. And can anyone tell me what's special about this one? It's from 1954. Such a nerd. <laughs> There's my knee pads. Check it out though. Do you see the uh, devil in the queen's hair? Do you see it? There's two eyes, a hook nose, and a mouth. Do you see it? Let me know if you see the devil in the queen's hair. It's a 1954 devil's face. Some coins for you. Oh, there's one that I didn't show you. This one's trippy. Woo. Benjamin. You put that plate down. 
Come on. Okay, here. You prefer that? You get it all in your bib, dude. Now you have an egg Cheerio mix. Hey, Millie, you're a nice lady. Eating your grapes slowly. So it's the next morning. I'm all freshened up. Now I gotta hit the road and go do some errands. First things first, though. Gotta make the coffee for the road. Which one's it gonna be? Should I have one of the wife's pumpkin ones? Probably not. We're gonna go with one of these ones. There's Gringotts. It's coming along. Just sort of building it while watching the kids eat or taking care of them, whatever it may be. This is where the majority of the building gets done now. Either the wife sits down and builds a bag or I sit down and build a bag when we're taking care of these two. It's just the way to do it. It's the way to do it, right kids? Absolutely. This thing's pretty crazy though. I despise that sticker though. What I should have done is given the sticker a trim, like cut it real close to the T on both, and then I could have got it like perfect, like right to the edge of the uh, curved tile there. I could probably still do that. Maybe use some hot steam and peel it off and then cut it and then redo it or just leave it how it's meant to be, I guess. What are you gonna do? Would you cut it? Or would you just do it how the instructions tell you to do it? This is pretty cool though. I have like this wall here. All the snot bricks too. And the angled pillars. Pretty sweet build. Can I have one of your Cheerios? Thank you. Appreciate that. So I've arrived at the mall with the Lego store. 27 minutes early, man. You know what, I had a car full of stuff that I didn't show you that I had to toss out because we were thinning out our garage because we got those new shelves. So I tossed all that stuff out at the dump. Bunch of like spare wood from Brixie's wood pile, which is nice and condensed now. And a bunch of stuff like that that wouldn't fit in our regular household garbage can. And then I've got this stuff here from Ikea that I need to return. So we'll stop off over there later. But now I've got 27 minutes to burn here. And I don't know what to do. The front display is looking super sick here though. Check it out. Concord. That's clean. And then also Gringotts. That thing is super tall when it's fully built. Holy. That is ridiculous. Sorry about the beeping, it's not me. Then we have the insects, and also two free gifts. Looks like they still have the uh, Green God's Vault when you spend 170 bucks on Harry Potter stuff. I think that's sold out online. Oh, cool. It looks like they have the Captain America shield built on display there as well. They don't have that built at the West Summit Mall Lego store, so that's neat. Yeah, just a great looking front display there. I've gotta say, I like the compact version. By compact version, I mean like this Lego store is substantially smaller than the West Edmonton Mall Lego store, but there's just like a cluster of sets and advertisements in the front window. And look at that, they've got the Great Wave and also Spider-Man on the wall right there. That's the way to do it though. Check out the acrylic display for the Concord. Lego should sell acrylic displays like that. You've gotta buy them from like third party, like Wicked Bricks or whatever it may be, right? But I bet you they could sell a bunch of them if they're already selling the product. Maybe if they had custom displays that would help display their product, they could sell them, you would think. Check out the backside of this Captain America shield. It looks intense, but it also looks very repetitive. The pad wall had some good stuff like these nougat arches, also the lavender leaves. Uh, there's some of the light gray arches, two by 10 green plate, uh, one by two curved slopes in green, up top here, there's two by four tan plate, corner plates in green as well. Uh, four by six dark gray plate. I need some more of those. Uh, also three by three dark blue plate, some lavender plates, two by two jumpers in tan, a whole bunch of good stuff, some gold elements, etc. So the way it works, the Lego store is they get the parts like every quarter it seems. So like every quarter the parts change and I'm excited to see what we're going to get here during the fourth quarter of the year because there's been some pretty good part selections here in 2023 and I hope the fourth quarter is fire as well. I decided to stack one cup. It has a four by six row of plates going through the center and then the remainder of the space is one by two green slopes. 
So the interesting thing about the Gringotts promo is that you actually get it with any Harry Potter purchase. So it doesn't only apply to the Gringotts bank. So I could get the Hogwarts Castle and Grounds and still get that promo. The store also had the Marvel Series 2 CMFs and they were limited 12 per household at this store. They weren't at the other store. I'm not sure if that has changed or not. Right beside the UCS ATAT Walker, they had the new Chewbacca built. This thing is absolutely enormous. Like, he is so tall. Eventually, I am going to get this set. It's 260 bucks. It looks sort of strange, but it's growing on me, that's for sure. And, of course, they have it on the shelves as well. Brand new sealed in box. I was a little bit surprised to see these sets in stock as well. There's Ahsoka Tana's T6 Jedi Shuttle and also the Coruscant Guard gunship and then above all that there's the ghost and phantom 2. like i was mentioning earlier i really like the condensed style of the store like this wall of sets is just so nice they had the classic defender 90 like the land rover built and on display honestly it just looked a little bit smaller than i thought it was i guess it makes sense that it's that size but i just think the pictures make it look a little bit larger than it actually is especially when i see it on display here Oh man, I did something that I probably shouldn't have done. I got myself the Gringotts promo at <laughs> the Gringotts vault. Even though I still have stuff to build at home, for some reason I decided to get this. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> That's sort of a problem, but it's a pretty cool set. It's like an architecture Hogwarts. I don't know, I think it's pretty nice, right? Gotta get that, don't ya? I, I don't know, maybe maybe I didn't have to get it, but it's hard to say no to uh, two promos. Plus I redeemed $130, $137 worth of points. So it's not bad. Now I find myself at Costco because I got to return these bad boys. They're just too small. I guess while I'm here, I may as well check out the Lego aisle. They've got the advent calendars. So Harry Potter, Marvel, and Star Wars. These are normally 60 bucks at the Lego store. They're $48.99 here. So $11 off, which is not too bad. How am I gonna do the advent calendars this year? So $48.99, you get one, two, three, four, five minifigures. So it's like 10 bucks a figure. And then you get all the additional pieces, I guess, and mini builds and the holiday fun, I guess, right? How am I gonna do those? I have not quite decided. I think if I do them, I'll probably do Marvel and also Star Wars. They've got some other products that are all approximately 20% off as well. So you've got some friend stuff here, like the Igloo, also the dried flowers, the Lamborghini Hurricane, also the Bugatti Bolade in blue, and the Batman Bat Cycle, the Batman, or sorry, the Batwing, Batman versus the Joker. This little four plus set. So this one's $37.99, and once again, you get four minifigures in there. It's not bad though, if I needed the uh, Batwing, I would definitely pick it up here, but I don't need it, I already have it. And I already have this, and I don't need any of those. But I might pick up the Advent calendars. Uh, it's a little bit early, I don't know if I'm gonna do these this year. There's just nothing that's like, wow. I mean, I, I like the Palpatine but all the other figures, it's like, okay, this guy's pretty cool, I guess, the Ewok. And this one, like, I like the Spider-Man Ugly Christmas sweater, that's really nice. But it's an Iron Man, Captain America. I don't know. I honestly might leave them this year. So what do you think, do I need a new pair of shoes? People keep saying I need new shoes because mine have holes in them. So the other day I came to Costco and I quickly whipped on a pair of size nine and I was like, all right, those fit, let's go. And then I got home and I walked around and I'm like, those don't fit, they're too tight. So now I'm back grabbing a size 10. Look at those though, Adidas, not bad, 55 bucks. Seems pretty cheap. Normally I get Nike, but, but I guess I'm gonna go with the Costco Adidas. Hey, look at this, I could probably pick up some new winter boots too. Perfect. Or I'll get a pair of these bad boys. To be honest, I sort of like the look of these Eddie Bauer hikers. They're only 50 bucks. If I needed hikers, I'd pick them up. So what do you think, me clothes shopping at Costco? Is that a dad move? Is that an old man move? Look at these long sleeve shirts. Nice neutral color, 15 bucks. 
hey, at least I'm not opting in to be a walking advertisement for my favorite brand. What do you think? Do I have a hot dog for breakfast? Oh man, it is beautiful out. I decided not to get a hot dog, but honestly, I haven't eaten yet today. Well, actually, I did have one of Millie's Cheerios and this coffee. It's not very healthy at all. What am I doing? I have no idea. Mm. I know what we're doing. We're going to Ikea. So not too long ago, Jose and I actually upgraded our pantry from Ikea. And we designed it at Ikea. And then after installing it, it turns out we don't need this stuff. So I'm going to try and return it. While I was standing in line at the customer service desk in Ikea, I noticed these like bins in the shelves. That is like an open part system that could be used for Lego. And they had like a ton of them. I've talked about an open part system before and that would work really well. So both returns were absolutely painless. I love Ikea and Costco for that reason. I think eggs are a better choice when it comes to starting the day compared to hot dogs. I guess I'm not really starting my day, but it is what it is. So I mentioned we did a little uh, pantry upgrade. So we've got our kitchen, right? It's a little bit of a mess. We have kids and bottles and all that stuff. It's can, it's never ending. Uh, but yeah, we used to have like a, a pantry here and it still is our pantry, but it used to be like steel shelving and it just wasn't the best. So we actually upgraded it. We put these cabinets in from Ikea. How sick is that? It's like a little butch, a butler's pantry. So now we've got like our air fryer and our mixer and crock pot. It's a bit of a mess in here, don't mind that. But then all the food up here and the uh, oven pans. How much better is this? Got a coffee drawer and check it out. Bam! Another coffee drawer. And just all the food in here. Just makes it a little more neat and tidy. So it's just a little upgrade that we knew we wanted to do one day, but we finally did it this year. So much better than the steel racks. I'll throw up a photo of those right now. Yeah, see, so much better. Like it's night and day. You see, now that I've had eggs and a piece of toast, I can bring on the mini donuts. And now that I have new shoes, I can retire my old lawn slash camping shoes and give them a swift upgrade with the new lawn slash camping shoes. It's perfect. You see, I didn't need new hikers, but honestly, if I didn't have these, I'd for sure pick up those Eddie Bowers. So I used to have to dress up all the time, but I honestly have not worn any of these dress shoes in the longest time. It's probably time to move on from with some of them. Like they're just taking up unnecessary space. I do like these ones though. I mean, when you have shoes that look like this, why on earth do you need dress shoes? You just don't, right? Just take the time to clean up my section of the shoe rack. Remember I was mentioning the wood pile? Yeah, look how neat and tidy it is now. So that's all the scraps from me building like raised platforms and Lego tables and all that. There's the steel racks that used to be in our kitchen. And I was thinking that maybe we could use the brackets from those because they actually were uh, in the wall using drywall anchors. And we could actually put shelving around the ceiling of our garage. I just think that would be nice. Like over here above the shovels, boom, put a nice shelf up there so we can put Frosty the Snowman up there or something. I just think that would make sense. So I've just got to get around to doing that. All right, I cleaned up my desk and I'm about to repair the raised train station roof for the second time this week. Honestly, it's not a design flaw. Just for some reason, whenever I work on the Lego City, I choose not to remove the roof because when you're removing that modular building, what are the odds that I whack it off with my elbow? Pretty high, that's why it keeps happening and it's pretty easy to remove. Granted, it is uh, front heavy, like there are two glass panels going this way and only one that way, so it is a little bit off balance. Could put another support beam in there, but honestly, it's fine. It's a little bit warped now because of how many times I've knocked it down, but it looks really good and I really like the fact that it provides coverage over top of the train. Just when I'm working in the Lego City, I should probably remember to remove it. So it's been a really good day so far, just getting out about. So it's been a really good day so far. Pretty excited about it. Got a little bit of Lego shopping in. Did I need to buy that Hogwarts set? No, I did not. But now I've got a pretty big backlog. Uh, I've got like the Captain America shield, this amazing Spider-Man art. Uh, Green Gods that you saw out there. Then this uh, new Hogwarts set. And then there's a couple of exciting things that I've got from LAN as well, from the Lego Ambassador Network. Yeah.
be pretty cool. I'll reviews on those coming out before the end of the month. And then there's also uh, two new projects that I'm going to be working on in the LEGO City, above and beyond the projects that I'm already working on. Yeah, more on that in the next video. Uh, but what I've got to do is go around, put all my vehicles back in the LEGO City, put all my minifigures back, all of the details as well, such as fire hydrants, street lamps, traffic lights, bushes, trees, stories, all that stuff. And I've got to do that in the city, in the residential area, and also in the amusement park. So I've got to, I've got to get on that. Also, I've got a huge mess that I've got to clean up, but placing all of that stuff is pretty much going to deal with this massive mess over there, right? So that's exciting. Oh yeah, and then I was uh, showing you all the stuff in the garage and the kitchen and all that. So, Jose and I, we've lived here for three years. We sort of held off on doing things like that until now, three years later, just because we're a little bit more stable now after the move. After three years, we're just a little bit more stable here in this house, which is cool. And also, we weren't sure if this was going to be like our forever home. So we didn't really want to make too many modifications to the house and buy the shelving and do all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be a forever home. So we're like, well, let's sort of do some of the things that we want to do and make it, you know, make it our forever home. Let's do that. So we're pretty excited about that. And I still think that one day I'm going to get this Lego room out of here so I can free up this basement. Maybe we can put some, put some cool stuff down here for the kids and for me. And, and we can have a cool, not that the Lego room isn't cool. But we can put some other uh, things down here that we can have fun with in the family. And then I'll try and get this sort of workplace or place of work off site. And then this will be a forever home. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty exciting stuff. It's been a good year, 2023. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And have yourselves a fantastic day. Farewell!